Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk about a little movie that came out back in 2011 or 2012. There's two dates online. I can't remember the first time I saw this. I remember I bought the Blu-ray. I really wanted to see the movie. The movie's called Goon, starring Sean William Scott as Doug Glatt. They um, leave Shriver's in it. Um, Eugene Levy's in it. Um, Kim Coates is in it. Um, it's about a guy who is a little stupid, we'll say, but he's good. He's a good fighter, but he's a good heart. And um, he's a friend that's really into hockey and he goes to hockey games with his buddy. And um, to go back a little bit, uh, Doug, Sean William Scott's character is a, bar, um, a bouncer at a bar. He's good with, he can fight, he's good with his fists. Not the smartest dude, but very nice, a very good dude with a good heart. That's pretty much his character. And uh, his buddy takes him to a hockey game, and his buddy's a loud mouth and starts screaming at the uh, opposing team's player. It's, I don't know what uh, league it would be. I guess in baseball terms, you have triple A and then double A. This looks more like either a single or a double A hockey squad in Orange, Massachusetts. And uh, his buddy starts berating this player from the opposite team who just got a penalty. And the guy climbs over the glass and starts coming up towards him and going to beat the crap out of him. And uh, Doug steps in and pounds the crap out of this guy. And the coach on uh, the, the home team notices and asks him to come in for a tryout. So Doug comes in, can't skate <laughs> very well at all, and the team's kind of making fun of him. And uh, Doug just beats the crap out of most of the team, the, team, the, uh, the guys on his team. Well, soon-to-be team. The coach offers him a contract, and basically he's going to be the enforcer or the goon. And uh, as the movie goes on, um, the coach's brother has, I would say, the equivalent of a AAA baseball team in Canada, and they offer Doug a contract because they need a goon to protect their star player. Um, so Doug goes to Canada and starts playing um, for them. And that's pretty much the movie. It's a hockey movie, but it's also a comedy. It's very funny. Um, the first time I saw this movie, I fell in love with it. I'm... I'm sad that it doesn't get talked about enough. I think it's a really good movie. Um, I wish they would have given it a wider release. I, I just think it's really well done. Um, Doug's a... For Sean William Scott, the character of Doug is... if Everybody remembers Sean William Scott from American Pie movies. And that movie's kind of like over-the-top, um, goofy jock dude who just does all this crazy shit. Um, pardon my French, but... That's pretty much his character, and then he was in the rundown. And he's kind of played the same character, a little toned down, but kind of the same character. I've always liked him as an actor, but it's pretty much what he's been playing his whole career. Um, even in the movie um, Role Models with Paul Rudd, he's, he's, even, he's more toned down than Stifler, but he's still like the frat guy, you know? So this was kind of a change of pace for him, definitely, and he pulls it off, and you actually care about his character, and you want to see him do well, and you kind of feel bad that his parents don't accept you know, except what he's doing. Um, they pretty much, um, they come to see his game, and they, they at first they're proud of him, and they realize he's just the enforcer, and he beats the crap out of people for a living. And they don't understand that he is part of the team, and Doug thinks he's part of the team, and he really, he loves what he's doing, and it's his job, and he takes it seriously. They don't see that, so they kind of walk away from him. Um, but he still has the support of his brother and his friends, and he meets a girl along the way. But we follow the team along their, you know, the rest of their season, and... Um, Leif Shriver plays this enforcer on another team that everybody in the league can't, keeps talking about, you know, when these two meet and fight, it's going to be an awesome fight. And eventually as the movie goes forward, I know I'm spoiling some things, but the movie's been out for a while, but I do, um, towards the end of the movie, they do get their shot to square off. I'm not going to ruin that for you. You'll have to see the movie to find out what happens, but it's a really well done movie. It's well, the hockey scenes are well directed. Um, it's very funny. The banter between the team teammates is great, and the coach, um, the great Kim Coates, is in there as the head coach, and he just tears into his team. And <laughs> some of the things he says, I just can't help but laugh. But um, it's raunchy, but there's a lot of heart there. Um, I really enjoy this movie. I would give it an eight and a half out of ten. It's a movie that I really enjoy watching. There is a sequel called Goon: Last of the Enforcers that came out. I don't remember the year on that. I own that one as well. That's also pretty good. And that one has uh, Kurt Russell's kid, Wyatt Russell, in it too, who's very good in the movie. I'll review that movie at a later date. Um, but if you've never seen Goon, I highly recommend it. It's very funny. And if you like sports, it's a fun sports movie. Um, 
it doesn't seem like we get too many of those. I mean, my kind of favorite sports movies were like Major League, which I always, I still think is hilarious. Obviously, Caddyshack. Um, the program, I always had a soft spot for that one. Um, but this one f fits right in with kind of like the Major League style, R-rated, you know. People do crazy stuff during the movie. Um, but I highly recommend it. It's well acted. It's well directed. Um, and I just wish it was one of those movies that got more attention. I think it's better than, you know, it doesn't get enough attention. It deserves more. Um, so I highly recommend it. Like I said, eight and a half out of ten for me. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.